That was some pretty epic music right there. I don't, I don't know what to think about that. So let's get down to business. We're in South Florida in Biscayne National Park, and we're going to a spot that I like to call Get Your Own Spots. Don't take mine. And speaking of my spots, let me show you one. This is a beautiful place. It has tons of snapper. Uh, I love to come in here and sit in the grass and wait for a big mutton snapper. And half the time, it's just cool to hang out and just watch the fish. Occasionally, a big mangrove will show up too, but uh, this time, the big mutton did not show up. So I moved to a different reef, and there's a lot of activity going on, and I think I took another swim around this reef, and then I came to the next clip. And I finally see a decent-sized mutton. It's maybe, I don't know, 20, eh, maybe like right on the line, like 20, 22, something like that. But I shot him and I missed. So as you saw, I lined him up, I shot at the back, but just, I guess I was off by an inch. This was pretty cool. I was out scouting for mini season and I came across the wrecked vessel of the 200 Haitian refugees that recently attempted to land in Florida. I think they were found about 10 to 18 miles off the coast and uh, yeah, I can't imagine just 200 people packed onto that thing. Uh, it wrecked in about seven feet of water. Uh, I hope they're doing okay. Anyway, back to spearfishing. Grouper is on the run out in the hard bottom, and he gives me a shot. Ooh. I'm narrating my videos right now, sweetheart. I'm telling people about this 24 inch grouper. He, he was maybe a little over 24, but he was, he was definitely legal. And the great shot I made, and then I stabbed him in the head. Oh, speaking of my sweetheart, there she is, she got a lionfish. Uh, sadly, I was not able to record it. I hit the wrong button. But that same day, this snapper I had shot, I found him hiding under the rock and his tail was sticking out and I was down there so long because uh, I had to load the gun that he actually started to move away. So I just barely got the shot off before he left. But uh, after I shot him, obviously he went crazy, he wrapped himself around this rock. Uh, he still had a lot of energy, he got away from me right there, wrapped up on a different rock that time. I was pretty stoked. I really wasn't expecting anything uh, on this particular reef, and this is the first time I've seen a mutton on this reef. So, well, I've seen muttons there, but nothing is quite as big as this one. Typically, they're all, you know, about 15 or 17 inches long. So, this one was uh, an unexpected treat, to say the least. Actually, it was a reasonably good shot when I look at it. Just behind the head, didn't get really in the meat, and out the other side. In, in that case, you always have to pull the spear through because there's no way you're getting that spear back out. Once the flopper's engaged like that and you hit that hard part of the head. And that technique right there, I learned that from uh, watching Key West Waterman right there, stabbing in the side of the head. It didn't work, so I had to stab him my way, but still thought it was a pretty cool method. Is that a log? What is that? Ooh, it's a cocodrilo. It's a crocodile. It's nice when you see them coming up into the north part of the bay. This, however, is not nice. I uh, ran into this when I was headed home. Uh, it looks like a giant shark took a huge bite out of his head. I don't know if he died of natural causes and a shark came and found him or if a shark actually killed him, but it was really crazy to see this out in the bay. Speaking of crazy, I saw this nice triggerfish and I dove down. I didn't look directly at him because I wanted him to give me a broadside, which he did. And once he gave me that broadside, I got a really nice shot on him, and then, you know, you could hear him complaining, which I don't blame him. But I reel him in, and then I try to get the knife into his head. And now the crazy thing with the trigger is he has that point on his head, which is pretty cool. Um, it's actually, uh, I think it's like a ligament or something, but their skin is ultra tough, and it's super hard to stab into his head. So I actually had to stab him a couple times. Even though the skin is tough, they're actually really good eating fish. I highly recommend Ocean Trigger to everybody. And then I got a special bonus right here, which I was pretty happy about. I was not expecting it. I was headed back to the boat, and look at that grouper running. And I think this was about a 26 or 27 inch grouper. And 
I was just so happy. I just decided I'd follow him and kind of see what he did. He didn't seem like he was too agitated or acting erratically. Uh, so he actually went into that bush and gave me plenty of time to sit here and load up my spear gun. Uh, a lot of times when you already have a fish that you've speared and you need to load up again real fast, it's good just to leave the fish on the line. So I did that and then got loaded up as quick as possible. You never know when they're going to shoot out from where they're hiding and run somewhere else. And then once they know you're chasing them, it makes it a lot harder to catch them. But in this case, I got lucky. He just kind of sat there and he lined up and gave me a beautiful shot. Super solid, super happy with that. I think this is in about 18 feet of water or so. So yeah, I reeled him in and pulled him up and then I got a knife in his head. This is kind of my July wrap up. Thank you guys for watching. This is what I've been up to over the past month and a half to two months. I've been trying to create some entertaining content for you guys. Feel free to let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of these videos. I hope you guys come back and uh, hit that subscribe button. Fuck <laughs> off,